We are going to look at a little bit of analysis of this free throw shot here. Now you're going to have to bear with me because um, you can't actually pause using this app so it's one big long continuous video. So I'm going to do my best to um, uh, make this work for you guys without too many interruptions. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to watch um, we're going to watch the shot one time through at full speed. Here we go. Okay, um, hopefully you managed to, uh, to pick out the uh, preparation phase, the action phase, and the follow through. Um, if you didn't, we'll flick back to the start and we're going to watch it in slow motion. So see if you can identify um, see if you can identify the three phases now. Okay, good. Uh, let's move it back here and let's start breaking things down a little bit. Okay, so this first phase uh, that I'm in now, this is the preparation phase. So this is movements that are made in preparation of skill execution to improve force and accuracy. So the first thing we're going to look at is, um, is grip. So I've got, uh, let me just bring up something here. So I've got two hands on the ball. You can see that clearly there. And if we look at um, the image on the right, this hand here is slightly cocked, which prepares uh, the ball in the shooting pocket ready to shoot. Um, other things to uh, consider here uh, is the stance, uh, as you can see down here. Feet uh, about shoulder width apart. Um, I'm fairly relaxed. Um, coming through here. Knees are bent, so I'm in quite a low stance, so I've lowered my centre of gravity, which makes me uh, more balanced. Um, and there's no footwork uh, actions in play here, because my feet remain stationary for the majority of the shot. Uh, but there are some, some body weight uh, things to consider here, and all you can really tell from this is that my body weight is probably slightly forward. Um, and all of this helps with application of force to the ball to shoot it into the hoop. Uh, one more aspect of, um, I guess, the preparation phase is looking at the backswing. And we, we don't have backswing here, but you'll notice that uh, one thing that does happen is there's a little bit of a dip there before um, the shot occurs or before we start imparting force on the ball. So you see from that position down to that position it just helps, it, it serves similar to a backswing but it just helps generate or begin the generation of force uh, before we apply it to the ball. Okay, let's carry on here through to the action phase which is happening about there when we shoot the ball. So the weight transfer has happened so we've gone um, so we've dropped or lowered uh, our center of gravity there by flexing at the knees and the hips. All right, and then the weight is transferred, uh, or the momentum is transferred from that squat position into extension at the knees, hips. Um, you can also consider a little bit of force formation there. So um, the knees and hips start moving, followed by the shoulder, and then the elbow and then the wrist finally last for the follow through. Alright, so you can see the weight transfer um, is, is in play there. There's no forward swing or no strike uh, in, in this action phase for a basketball free throw shot, but there is um, a release and, and that all comes down to the timing that we talked about uh, or force summation. Uh, follow through phase are movements that are made following the action phase and the only thing here that is made is or should be made as a slight um, flick of the wrist there and then this position is held or my body segments are directed towards the target to improve my accuracy. Um, this hand here could probably be a little bit straighter um, likewise with this one here they seem to be out of out of position um, which may affect uh, my accuracy. 
um, and if I was to identify issues that I could improve on that would probably be one of them um, and also it looks like I've shifted a lot of my weight to my left foot if you see that down there this is probably kind of off on an angle and that's where I'm, I'm placing all of my weight so maybe a little bit of um, weight, distri weight distribution could be looked at if I was working to um, improve my shot here. So that was just a very quick analysis looking at the three phases um, and our first lesson back you're going to have to do something similar um, using this app on the, on the faculty iPads um, and you'll be doing it for a skill of your choice um, in groups. Uh, so just wasn't the, the greatest of analysis and it was just a quick one but it's something that you can use as a reference um, to how you do yours next week. Alright, thanks for that. Get your WISC sheets done and make sure you bring them to class because you, you might need some of this information to help with the analysis. Okay, thanks.